The robot game is one of the really exciting parts of your LEGO League tournament. And this is where you're going to bring along your robot you've built and pre-programmed to complete as many of these missions as possible in two and a half minutes. And you're ultimately trying to win as many points as possible. Yes. Now we want to take you through a few of the basic rules that you need for the robot game, but the full set of rules can be found here in the engineering notebook. So really important that you have a good look through here and make sure that you understand everything. If you have any questions at all, please email us on the email address below. So now we want to take you through a few of the basic facts that you need for this year's robot game. New for this year, all of your mission models and all parts of your robot have to fit in this area which is called home. Along with that, your robot and its attachments have to fit in one of two areas, the small inspection area or the large inspection area. The robot must drive out of the launch area, complete as many missions as it possibly can in those two and a half minutes, and then it must return to the home area. If at any point during the robot game your robot gets stranded, you can retrieve it. But that is called an interruption, and you will lose one of these precision tokens and the points that go with it. You can have up to 10 members within your team for the first LEGO League. Yes, but only two technicians can be at the table during the robot game at any time. But we definitely want the rest of the team to be there supporting and cheering from the sidelines. Woo! Final top tip, each of the missions on this table is worth a different number of points. Now you really do not need to worry about doing them all, but do think about which ones you try to complete. The robot game is an amazing part of First LEGO League and we can't wait to see the robots that you design. And we'll see you all soon! If you missed our introduction video, click here. If you want to find out more about how a regional tournament works, click here.